Hi again, folks. Back with another reaction. Uh, so this time it's for Bandmade Domination official live video. Uh, this is going to be my second Bandmade reaction. Um, I've already done Onset live. Loved it. Brilliant band. Um, so yeah, this one was also highly requested. So without further ado, after three, two, one, go. These girls can really play, can't they? So in the last one I uh, listened to, um, any Bahamed fans will already know, but it was a instrumental version. So this is the first time I've heard their singer. Beautiful voice, really powerful vocal. Um, excellent front woman as well, you know. Um, really getting the crowd going. I mean, it's clear from the audience uh, responses there um, with them knowing the song and obviously they're playing to a very large venue um, that they all know the band really well um, but I'm loving the way that she's bringing the audience in despite the riffs that are going on which are which sound like they've been sort of heavily influenced by a lot of sort of rock music of like say the 70s and the 80s and um, there's a complexity to them that makes it sound really modern and fresh. So I'm liking that sort of reinvention, if you like, um, from older kind of rock music. Um, you know, you guys will obviously know what influences the members have and how that, and, and obviously that's going to affect how they write their own music. They also seem to have a really nice balance of catchy hooks. Um, the chorus there was really like sort of memorable, you know, as soon as you hear it, despite me not being able to speak Japanese, you know, you, can, you know, the hooks are in there, you know, it's the type of thing that'd be sort of playing in your head, you know, later on that day, even after hearing it once. So they're obviously very good at sort of creating earworms, if you like. Another thing they seem to be doing very well is mixing uh, a level of virtuosity into it without it sounding overly complex. So to me, it's more typical that whenever you add sort of virtuosic elements into a song, that it adds complexity. Um, and the more complex the music seems to become, um, the more, not, not, not difficult to listen to, but more focused you have to be really to sort of analyze and figure out what's happening. They seem to be sort of sprinkling in elements of virtuosity, but still um, drive the music forward in a kind of upbeat, um, easy to follow kind of way. So I like the way they're sort of blending those elements together. Um, yeah, so let's continue. One thing, it's a pity the lead guitar isn't a little bit higher up in the mix. Um, obviously, we can hear it, like, but I think, you know, whatever way this concert's been mixed, it would have been nice for nice for that lead guitar to be a little bit more up in the mix. Lovely pick squeals in there. So that 
what's that thing I was talking about, the virtuosic aspect of it? So although the vocals are kind of hooky and catchy, what's going on, fairly complex what's going on in the arrangement there. You know, we'll have taken considerable time and effort to figure all that out in the arrangement and play it. So there's a lot of attention to detail, really, what's going on. So that's very impressive. <laughs> I don't, I don't like to get too heavy into music theory in this, you know, try and keep it a little bit more sort of broad strokes on a first reaction to listening. It's something I do love are those sort of minor nine chords, you know, so you can hear that the root note is sort of clashing with the, the upper note of the guitar, you know, um, intentionally, of course, you know, so there's a, a lovely tension I've always found in minor nine. It's, it's one of my favorite chords. So it sounds like the minor nine there is resolving up to the minor 10th there, which is just a lovely little lift, you know, it's really nice. So let's go back a little bit and check out it again. I'll try and point that out to you, so show you what bit I mean. Another thing I should point out here is how they know how to use space within music. I mean, it's really clear that all of these girls are incredibly um, talented, each of them in their on their own field. Um, and I guess whenever you get a band of musicians together, they're all very virtuosic. It'd be very easy for them to maybe overplay um, and kind of get on top of each, of one another. You know, they're very clever here at uh, distributing that. You know, so you can hear whenever the more complicated elements of the bass playing came in there, that the other instruments give it space to breathe, um, particularly on the drums. So the drums became a lot less complicated with what was going on, a bit more straightforward, so our ears were able to be drawn to the bass. I mean, that shows a high level of composition, really. very pure about this that I really like you know um it's certainly not simple in any way or shape or form like I said there's a lot of complexity involved but there's something about the way they they like to take a particular riff and just let it play out and enjoy the energy created by it you know so they're not sort of focused on the sort of microscopic details of you know technical sort of virtuosity in that sense you know, um, it's just really fun to listen to. There's a, there's almost like a kind of punk element to it, the good aspect of punk. I'm not a huge punk fan, really. It's not really for me. But it's, I do like the energy of punk, you know, um, and I can get the energy aspect of punk in this, despite it having obvious sort of classical and uh, heavy rock and those sort of progressive influences in it. These bits here...
counter melody and da 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 and the guitar, you know, the, the, the lead guitarists are bringing that in. That's that element of virtuosity I keep I keep talking about. So the harmony that's involved in that part is fairly basic. You know, there's only a couple of chords involved. Um, but rather than just sort of leaving it as sort of strumming chords, which I know the second guitarist is mainly mainly giving that sort of rhythmic um, backup, the lead guitarist is finding ways to keep everything really interesting without getting in the way of the, the lead melody, you know, really clever. Okay, simple. New in the right. Lovely. One thing I haven't really talked about, although I've been noticing it all along, the back and focus. Also incredible. Um, just so tight and you know, they add that extra dimension to the music as well, you know. It's insanely good. <laughs> You know, sometimes I do get a little bit, oh, sorry. Sometimes I do get a little bit nervous when I see um, certain outfits and I know there are different bands like Baby Metal and maybe like Slipknot, The Misfits, bands where they have a particular sort of image. Um, now, those are obviously all incredible bands, but I d I've always kind of worried a little bit sometimes whenever I see that, I kind of think, is it possible that that's there to sort of make up for something that's lacking? <laughs> it's beautiful to see that it's not. So they obviously clearly have a visual identity, really. Um, but my goodness, what a band. I mean, these these girls are sort of top tier as far as I'm concerned, you know, and what they can do. Um, and it's really fun music, you know, really uplifting and groovy and fun and enough complexity in there for sort of serious musicians to like really, really get into it. So I can, I can understand really why they have such a mass appeal. Look, I mean, look at the views on this, 1.89 million views. You know, they're nailing it, you know. So, yeah, amazing. So there you go. That's my thoughts on this for a first-time listen. Um, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to check out the other uh, videos and reaction videos on my channel. Also, I have um, performances, classical piano stuff on there and some uh, music that I've written myself. So have a dig around there and see. You might find something else that you like. Um, and if you like this, don't forget to subscribe and like and request for any more ones that you want me to check out. So there you go. Thanks very much. See you next time.